Ann Coulter's here. I forced her to sit here and listen to the entirety of the interview. Usually we would keep Ann in the green room, but I said, Ann, I want you to sit and listen. Uh, thoughts? So, so wish you hadn't done that. Um, I was fully prepared to defend him and make a much better argument than he just made, uh, but now I wish they had kept him in prison for four years instead of four months. Um, this is why Republicans lose. I had no idea how profoundly stupid he is. He started with it, so I'll start with it. And <laughs> Republicans who think it's a good idea to brag about how we're, we're really soft on crime, Trump let prisoners out of prison. We passed the First Step Act. What has been the most winning issue for Republicans for the past 50 years being tough on crime, Dan Abrams? And right now, there is nothing Americans agree on by 70%. You know what they agree on by 70% right now? Um, we are not tough enough on crime. And, and, oh my gosh, Kamala's record on crime is shockingly bad. She, you know, she's the one responsible for Proposition 47 and 57 that is just legalized crime in California because she was AG, she writes the titles to the proposition, and it was not the one that, that decriminalizes all crime was titled the Safe Neighborhoods and Schools Act. Um, she's contributed to a fund to release criminals, um, to, to, to bail them out. From the, the, the George Floyd protests, she's, it's still up on their website. So you think he missed an opportunity, so to speak? People, <laughs> people who have been released due to that fund have gone on to murder, kill. That's Kamala's record. And these morons want to say, Trump let people out of jail. Oh, I wish they had kept him in prison for four years. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.